Good morning to you all. Uh, it has snowed yesterday and it's so cold that it's still on the ground today. But like, as you can see in the valley, it has melted. Um, some of you have asked what I do in the winter time because it's so cold and there's no garden work. So I thought I'd show you and tell you a few things. That's my duvet outside. I just very early in the morning I put it in the laundry. So in the hope that tonight it'll be dry again because it's going to be a sunny day, as you can see. Um, so it's very cold, so this means that the taps outside are frozen, the tubes. They're just above ground. It's a far way to get it all the way under the ground. So that means that um, I'm prepared and I have one, uh, two demijohns right there um, that uh, I fill with water for those type of occasions. <laughs> so that's one thing this morning. And then uh, I lit the stove again, of course, because it was cold in here. And um, I cut myself lots of apples because I'm drying apples. Two, 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 two lines, um, just as a snack and also to preserve the apples because they are starting to get old, our own apples. They are, you can, I eat them in the, in the porridge every morning, but they start to be soft and I think they're nicer when they're dried in that fashion. Um, I also started my lunch, uh, parsnip and pumpkin from the garden because now I have the fire and later on I don't have, and I try to save gas it's just more a challenge than that it's really necessary well, of course it's necessary for the environment but i mean i could get some more this is my porridge which i still haven't eaten i'm gonna do that soon then i'm reading in a book called uh, medicinal gardens and it's all about medicinal plants and i'm going through that as real winter work to see what plants i can get seeds of i want to grow this year in the garden and we already made a plan for the veg. Uh, we used the Maria Thun biodynamic calendar uh, to plan when to plant what uh, in the next season. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Here we go. That's January. So, uh, so we write everything down when we want to plant what kind of. Um, so that's already done. And we also packed a lot of seeds. Um, and we're advertising them here and there and we're sending them away. So we've been packing a lot of seeds. Um, what else do we do? I do a lot of macrame. So here are a few things I made in the last week. Uh, they're just necklaces. Um, stuff like that. Uh, like so. Um, and then they, I can sell them in summertime. They're made from protea flowers, which is this. This is a protea flower. Um, and it comes from the bush, like so. It has a really big flower on it like this that is used in dry bouquets. Um, and then you peel this away and you put it on the sanding machine and then you get things like this. And then with those, I make then the jewelry that you just saw. Um, <laughs> there's a little cup I made myself. I'll show you the rest of it. I put a fat ball in it for the birds and they're eating on it. It's very nice. Um, for a fun thing, I'm not so happy with this one, but for a fun thin thing, I made at my mom. I saw this at my mom's. My mom made this. These are acorn caps, and you punch a hole through them, and then you put marbles in them. <laughs> it's just a fun project to make a mobile, another mobile. Um, I did that the other week. Um, um, for Christmas, I was been giving um, a, a bar key for, for my parents, which also really helps for when the tap is out of order like this. And I have some storage as well. So I made some pottery. Um, I made cups um, as an imitation of this one cup that I really, really like. This is my favorite cup in the world. This is made by a professional. And then this is made with a lot of help from Sam. Uh, she She's here on site. Uh, she has a pottery st a studio on site and she helped me. So I made four mugs and I made um, uh, four bowls. Oh, four bowls here. Uh, that like so. Uh, just by hand. They're, they're not on the turning wheel. And, and one plate just by hand. Just for fun. Um, it's been a year project. <laughs> Every time I do something. And here we go. It's finished. Um, so yeah, those are a few things of the things that we do. Big bread. I don't know if I have any in here at the moment. Um, ah, a little bit of bread. So baking bread is one of the things. If I keep the if I get the starter going, um, we peeled the loofahs, or one loofah this year. 
Um, this is what you buy in the store, but then they are bleached. This one is not bleached, so that's why it's a bit yucky, as you can see. But it still works the same, so it's like it grows like a cucumber. And then you peel off the skin, and it looks like this. And you can scrub your skin with it. It's one of the things. Um, today we're going to cut down a polytunnel from someone else's field where the polytunnel has ripped. So he needs another piece of plastic, but it's a really big polytunnel. And we have a small polytunnel, so we're going to reuse the plastic for our polytunnel. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. And then also Stephen ordered uh, a load of wood chip. Because uh, we can't keep up ourselves producing wood chip. So uh, to make pathways, because it's, it's very, very muddy everywhere. You probably can't see it through this window. But no, it's all snowy now. But yeah, the pathways are, are, are really muddy. So we put my pack down. Or tarmac and then we uh, put wood chip on top of it so the wood chip won't sink into the mud um anything else i can talk about no i think this is enough for now <laughs> those are, are some of the things that we do in winter time <laughs>